My uh, name is Eric Manheimer. Um, I'm the writer of the uh, book that was uh, the uh, inspiration for uh, New Amsterdam. And the book was called 12 Patients, uh, Life and Death at Bellevue Hospital. It's an, it's an excellent question, and uh, my children still ask me what I, what I did for a living. It, you do everything. So it's in, in, in simplest terms, you're responsible for the, uh, the quality of care of the patients that are, are at the facility. And in this case, uh, Bellevue Hospital was, uh, is the oldest hospital in the United States. And it's a very huge hospital. It has about 1,000 beds, 450 are psychiatric beds, 100 beds are dedicated to prisoners from Rikers Island. When they get uh, ill past a certain threshold, they get taken uh, to, to Bellevue to the 19th floor. So the medical director's job is really to oversee the medical care of the patients and is responsible for the quality and safety of those patients. What that means in practice is you're, you're responsible for directing all of the physicians that work at Bellevue and collaborate intimately with nursing and all the other departments because it's no one person or one discipline that takes care of patients. In this day and age, it's, it's generally a vast team. It's 24-7. It's 365. And you've got to be involved in every aspect of the hospital function. And on a day-to-day on -day basis, it's, uh, it's working very closely with departments, with department chairs, and with program development, because the hospital went through the AIDS epidemic, and that was a different uh, sequence of events from the 9-11 uh, episode, which then created another sequence of events, and other, other kinds of problems that changed in the city. So you were responding in real time to real events as they were happening, both globally, nationally, citywide, uh, citywide issues. So it was a very comprehensive job. What made it the most fun from that point of view, it was different every single day. There were, there were new challenges, new problems. But I was very fortunate we have an outstanding medical staff. These are out physicians. We have 2,000 physicians, and they're, they're of the highest quality, plus the interns, residents, and medical students of the New York University School of Medicine, which is just a couple of blocks north of, of Bellevue. In, in it's absolutely an exhausting job. It took over my life. I, I was working every day. Um, roughly about 12 hours a day. You're on call all the time. It's not like you have a medical director who's going to take over. Of course, I had an associate and an assistant medical director, but the kinds of issues that would come up off hours, Saturdays, Sundays, on vacations, I probably canceled half of the vacations that I was going to take or had to fly back early. For example, there's a, uh, um, a blackout in New York City. I'm in Mexico. I hop the next plane. I'm back in New York. Um, Sandy happens and, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You're, you're just in the middle of uh, a whole bunch of uh, other issues that you're, uh, you have to invent solutions to in real time. So on a daily basis, these things are happening all the time. And you're preparing for other things. You're increasing your own education about things. You're going to courses. You're visiting other hospitals around the city and the country to improve your own knowledge and your own uh, capabilities.